Welcome to my first video of 2020. I've still got some videos from last year to edit and upload, but I want to catch up on some deliveries I haven't opened yet. So let me clear some space and we'll get started. This first package isn't actually mini disc related, but it's some really, and I have opened it already, but I wanted to show you it's some really excellent um, cable management um, kits. Plastic trunking like this with the top you can slide on and, sl and clip in, slide on, slide off and clip in. And it's really excellent. I've already set this up on my desk just to hide some cables that I really didn't like having in the way. It comes with these like um, connectors, different edge connectors. Uh, let us know if you're interested and I'll do more of a demonstration video on that another time. Next up, I have a package where I'm working on some a storage solution. I found some really good boxes which store mini discs in uh, exactly three rows of about um, 25 mini discs per row and I did have some dividers that I had to cut down to size but I've been looking on Amazon for um, replacement dividers and here they are so these these dividers sort of you unpack them you can cut them down to size and then fit them in like this so I'll have three rows and then I can divide them up like that uh, so these hopefully will fit a little bit better than the other ones let me grab a mini disc and you can see and there you can see they're the perfect height for mini discs you'll be storing them like that so I might do a video I probably will do a video on that I've got to get a replacement box one of the boxes I ordered uh, actually for my Christmas present was Damage, so I've got to get a replacement, but I might get another one on top because I could do with the extra storage. Next up, we move on to the mini discs and mini disc um, players themselves. I've already taken the uh, label off of this and undone the tape, but I haven't opened it yet. So, this I think I've had since well, definitely since the end of December. Mm. Right, so it's an opened storage box. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, let me uh, just get the blinds open to get a bit more light in here. So, yeah, so a box which looks to be in good condition. And I've already got some of these. And I wanted a, I wanted even more so I can open these. I'm a big fan of Maxell ones, and I think this little design is actually on the mini disc itself. I don't know yet. So got a few of those to add to the. I think I've got just I don't know how many of the 80s I've got already, which are unopened. So we'll be having a look at those in another video, no doubt. Let's have a look at the box. I'll have to look off camera, but you can look on camera. It's actually easier to see rather than looking through the viewfinder. So it's a bit scratched up, but I don't think it's cracked. So that's handy. Although having said it, with my new mini disc storage system, I might move away from using the boxes. Maybe have one box on the desk at a time. But I might, rather than, when I put them in the boxes, oh, that's odd. When I put them in the boxes, they don't fit. The box is too tall for the new for the new storage boxes I've got. So what's going on here? Because are they upside down? I bet they're just upside down, aren't they? Okay, let's get this figured out. So so what I've noticed is these three on the back have Maxell Color MD eighties on them, written on them. And these five have color MD80. So my guess is they're from different uh, packaging with a slightly different wrapper on them. Unfortunately, we don't have any um, duplicates here. But let's have a look and see what they are. Oh yeah, they're definitely different. So these ones came out of a multi-pack for sure because they don't have their own... Um, 
uh, barcode. That's the word I was looking for. These ones might have come out of our multi-pack, but might have been available to sell individually. I uh, don't really know about that. If you know, if you have a pack, of, I might have some. If you have a pack uh, with the barcodes and without, then um, then give me some more information on it. But I thought these would all have come from the same pack. Clearly they don't. So we'll have to do some investigation into that. I've just made a rookie mistake. Um, I was unboxing something and hadn't pressed record. What a doofus. Anyway, we haven't, you haven't really missed anything apart from me unwrapping some noisy packaging. But what we do have is a Panasonic charger. And the cable on this charger is in good condition, not broken at all. Unlike, as you probably know, the cables on lots of Sony chargers for Sony mini displayers have degraded and are falling to pieces by now. So we've also got a nice little bag, Panasonic bag. Now I did have one sharp uh, mini disc player and it was awful and it didn't work. And a lot of sharp mini disc players um, have got a TOC error problem where it can't read the disc, the lasers failed. So I'm not really that keen on getting anything other than um, Sony, but I have had my eye on this mini disc player or one like it for a long time. So we've got a bit of corrosion on the um, battery contacts. We all know how to clean that up now. If you don't know how to clean that up, I've got a couple of videos on it. So this is my first non Sony player, which I intend to use on a regular basis. Oh, we can see through that. Can you see that? Okay, so before we get to play, let's just have a look and see what mini discs the guy sent. This was actually, um, as I said, I've been looking for one of these players for a long time. And I can't get my hand out the scissors. And this was a collection only, but it was a long way away. Uh, but I, I messaged the guy and said, could you send it to me? And he said, yes. So we arranged a deal and I got it. That's the first one of these I've ever had used. Look at that. Very fair ground. Yeah, quite like that. Weird combination of colours. Wonder if there's anything on these. Oh yeah, good old uh, black MD74 from Memory uh, Memrix from uh, Maxell. Standard TDK MDRXG74. Another TDK, um, what do we call these? Asif rings a bell. Okay, onto the main part. I don't know how to get into it. Ah, oh, very pretty pink. So there we have it. We're going to get focused. There we go. Panasonic MJ, sorry, SJ dash MJ. Five zero, I think there was an MJ five zero something else with something on the end of it, which was a similar machine, but came out later. Look at that; that's in pretty good condition. These, I think, get scratched up really easily. The input there, that's the oh, look, look at that. That's very reminiscent of an old um, camera wind on an old film camera wind on oh I really like this it's in good condition and I think this is an aftermarket battery he said he'd replace the battery god that's really 
really pleased with that. I didn't expect to find it in quite such good condition. It was hard to tell. The, the guy, I think, hadn't sold anything, he had no feedback. So I took a punt on this and his photographs weren't very good. But he did say, and there are some minor marks on it. I think you can possibly see a scratch there. I think the camera's having trouble. There we go. The camera's having trouble focusing because it's so reflective. But there is a scratch. There's a few little scratches, but that is excellent. Let's carefully put that down. Oh my word, that's teeny. This is the speaker system and stand and charging dock for that mini disc player. So I'm having a look off camera. You can see it through the camera, but I don't want to look through the camera, the phone screen. It's a tiny little mark there. These speakers aren't very good by all accounts, but it just looks fantastic. That's what we've got here. So we've got the headphones, main key and remote. So I wonder if that's the these or remote input. And then we've got what's that high filter on off speaker. No idea what that's all about. DC in three and a half volt uh, center. Let me look off camera. Center positive. Yeah, center positive. Always worth checking. Three and a half volt. I've got what he said now. Three and a half volt. So it's a positive, excellent. So it's exactly the right charger. Now I don't even know how this goes in. Assume that pops out there. Oh, there's the lock for it. I've got to be careful I don't mess up here. Oh my word. Look at that. What a gorgeous little machine. Don't even know where it works. So I could just have that on my desk to look at it all day. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at this. It's got a blue LED. Oh my God, you can't beat a blue LED. All right, satisfying click, all of the LED. That is excellent. This remote here, again, has that got blue light on it? Oh, blue LEDs. As you can tell, I instantly fell in love with the Panasonic and Cradle, and I'll be doing a detailed video about that later on. I'll also be doing videos about the other items featured in this video. So make sure you're subscribed and click or tap the bell icon so you get notifications each time I upload a video. Thanks for watching.